Hello every and anyone and welcome back to episode 11 of my Pokemon Insurgents Hardcore Nuzlocke. Now in episode 10 we got absolutely destroyed by a Kyrim and of all things a Delta Stunfisk and the team took a hit. We lost five members sadly. The team was looking a little bit different now. We've got Bash to replace Badger who was our electric type. We've got Blobby to replace Razzle who was our ice type we have got rainy to replace talonflame which was phoenix which is our fire and flying type that's a good trade-off we got gavin here to replace our water type in marseilles and we have got Dwayne here to replace i can't even remember who the last member was who was it who was it gulp which was our ground type that's right <laughs> okay so Everyone's got a f new items. I went and got items. Uh, you're also wondering probably how Dwayne is now a golem. We don't. We didn't have a way to trade Pokemon. There's a woman in the far east house of the black market that rubs a powder on your Pokemon, and they somehow evolve into their traded uh, Evo. So that's how we got Dwayne. We got the golem. Um, that, that, I guess we have to do a team recap, huh? We haven't done those in a while. Okay, let's have a look here. Let's have a look. Intimidate, Crunch, Raw, Electric Terrain, and Thunder Fang. Okay, that's not bad. Blubby, Aurora Beam, Aqua Jet, good for priority, just to kill anything there. If, if we come in and we can't kill it, Dive, Frost Breath, uh, Slash, Dragon Rage, Flamethrower, and Smoke Screen. I'm going to have to try and figure out a better move for for uh, Rainy here, because Dragon Rage and Slash isn't great. Smoke Screen's good, I like having that. Shadow Sneak, Shadow Ball, Dragon Pulse, and Flame Charge for uh, Infamous. Uh, we've got Gavin, Earthquake, Rock Slide, Muddy Water, and Protect. I like having Protect too. You can sort of scout a move, see what they're going to go for. Uh, rock Blast, Stealth Rock, Earthquake, and Explosion. And that is exactly what Dwayne's on the team for. If he needs to explode to kill something that we're having troubles with, that's exactly what he'll do. Okay, now you'll see the items there too, by the way. Rocky Helmet, Absorb Bulb, which is uh, you get hit by a water type, to boost your special attack, which is good. Um, Amulet Coin, which I'm going I'm gonna to trade off for something else. Maybe a Charcoal, if Charcoal is not being used on... I oh, know, Rainy's got charcoal uh, leftovers, that's fine. Okay, so probably charcoal for, or maybe a ghost type booster. Um, and a King's Rock for Blobby. Um, yeah, let's continue. Let's continue. I don't know what's coming up. I think the gym lead is next. I think, so I'm a little bit... Oh, what's this? A key. We need it. Oh, what's this? Oh! Well, that's... <laughs> I think what I'm putting on Gavi. Uh, not Gavi, Infa. Whoops. I'll give that to you. Uh, would you like to switch the two items? Yes, absolutely we would. Okay, let's continue. Also, we got the. I did check out the gym leader's team, but I only checked out the levels. I didn't check out the Pokemon. I just quickly looked up what the Helios City gym leader's levels are. And on normal, I think the highest is 52. And it did tell me it was an Altaria. And I'm thinking that might be the Mega. Because it would make sense. So... That's why I've kind of put Blubby on the team, because it's Ice Type and it's a Flying Gym and blah, blah, blah. But yeah, I think that's the case. So that's why I've got him to... No, it's level 50 is the Altaria. So we got him, because we give ourselves a two-level two, two level boost. Just because this game is ridiculous and it will give uh, people moves that they shouldn't learn yet. And Pokemon, you know, they're like 12 lower, <laughs> levels lower before they can learn that move and they've already got it. It's ridiculous. Um, so that's why we kind of give ourselves just that little bit of an advantage. Also, because the last gym had a Mega and we didn't. And it's just kind of cheap. See, I can't battle these people if they're trainers because we're already level capped. Um, yeah. Uh, oh god. Oh boy. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. That's stressing me out. Oh, you son of a! A butterfree. Okay. Uh, Thunderfang. Oh, he's a safeguard. That's fine. Good. Should kill there. A knock tower. Uh, he'll probably be faster than us, but we'll just go for a Thunderfang anyway. Ah, he popped our balloon. That's right. We bought like five of them, so it's fine. Okay. Well, whatever it is, it shouldn't kill us. Oh, boy. Okay, good. And we're just Thunderfang again. We can't escape. That's fine. We didn't want to. God, that was close. Okay, let's continue. Uh, we can always heal up, because I don't think we're going to use, like... Oh! 
whoo, whoo. I don't think we're going to use 25 Thunder Fang, so we don't have to heal PP there. We can just heal the super, super Potion instead of running all the way back. There is such a long way to go in this game just to go back to a Pokemon Center, so it's ridiculous. Oh, oh. What the hell? Oh! Yes! I'm sorry, I'm just going to go check if there was an item down there real quick. Never mind, no item in there. Um... Oh, I thought I would just quickly explain something real quick too. We had a few, uh, what are they called? Fossils, that's what they had. Um, we had a few fossils, so that's why we got Cranodos. We got the wall with a, sh a shield on. Shield on? Yeah. And an Anorith, which is Sloth, because he looks like Sloth from Ice Age, because look at his eyes. Those red dots right there in the middle of his face is what you think. They're not his eyes. Those with little googly eyes on the side of him, that's his eyes. That's his eyes. Um, we also got uh, Demix here up to a Ludicolo. Um, but because he was traded, and now I got into level 52, he no longer listens to me. So we couldn't use him. Um, I was going to use the rock, but I thought with the ground typing, it might be a little bit better just with the flying types. I don't know why. I just figured that might be better. I don't know why. I just, I don't know. I also like Golem because he's just that little bit faster, just in case. We need to, we need to just kill something quick, which I don't know much is going to be slower than a Golem, but uh, fast. Yeah, slower than a Golem, <laughs> but yeah. Um, I guess we just go, hey? Oh boy. All right, Pickle, are you ready? We need to warn the Olga that the Sky Cult is on their way up. Otherwise, they might blackmail him into summoning Rayquaza. Yes, sir. Everything is ready upstairs. We can... Well, well, well. Isn't it? Isn't this a sight for sore eyes? It's that Damien and Pickle from Telnor Town. It's good to see you two again, but I must ask, why are you here? Was it to challenge a gym? If it was, you're in luck. East here is our very own Sky-themed gym leader. He excels in both dragon and flying types. Oh, great. I didn't know dragon. I thought it just told me flying types. Oh, damn it. N no, sir. We're here because because we overheard members of the Sky Cult talking. They want to summon Rayquaza, and they plan to blackmail you into helping them. Also, by the way, when I when I froze there for a second and not reading, I was just thinking, oh, God, did I heal my Luxray? Because I don't want to be in low health. Um, that is a serious problem. You're positive about this? Are you sure you heard what they said correctly? If so, then this certainly is a problem. But out of all times to come, of course they'd pick now. I hope this wouldn't have to happen, but what's done is done. Come on out, everyone. Oh, what the hell? Huh? What's going on? I'm sorry about this, Damien. I truly am. You are so youthful and bright. It can't be helped, though. You heard what my cultist said, and I can't let you leave with a chance you might connect the dots. Y your cultist? <laughs> it looks like he says, yo, your cultist? What do you mean? I am the leader of the Sky Cult. Well, I didn't see that coming, that the, Olga, the second Olga would be shady. Surprised? You shouldn't be. When you think about it, it's pretty obvious. I created the Sky Cult several years ago, just before the Alga disappeared. We were a small group at first, a ragtag band who were untied, you know, untied, united by the desire for one thing, change. You see, the Alga was the perfect hero of the people, along with his partner, Hooper. He defeated cult after cult, trying to bring good values to the people of Torrent, such as peace, love, and mercy. Being merciful, he forgave anyone who begged him to, letting criminals go unpunished. As a result, the members of the disbanded cults joined, just joined other ones, making it a completely pointless act. The Alga was strong, but he was a coward. He wasn't able to do what was necessary to keep the region safe. So I dealt with him and crowned myself his successor. With a new Alga, we could cure the dis disease, <laughs> disease, the disease plaguing Tarim for good. We could save the region forever. You'll never get away with this, you monster. Oh, but Damien, I already have. With a bit of propaganda, I've already gave... <laughs> I can't freaking read. I've already got all of Tarim on my side. That's why I can't let you two blab about my true identity. Realistically, nobody would believe you, but it's a risk I can't take. I want to capture Rayquaza. With its incredible strength and control over the sky, I can... I can be omnipresent, omniscient, om, omnis, omniscient, I could be omnipresent, blank, and omnipotent. I could create a utopia free of war and crime. I refuse to be the coward that first, that the first ogre was, man. The South Australian education system has failed me. Any criminal, any threat to a perfect world needs to be removed. I found that I oh man, I found the sky cult to help me reach this goal, and now we've accumulated all we need to summon Rayquaza. 
The sacrifice can begin. Rayquaza will be summoned and it will be mine. This soon to be peaceful region will thrive under my command. East, get one of the one of the cultists. It's time to start. Sarah, I know we plan to sacrifice one of them, but since these kids are here and are going to live their lives in prison anyways, why not sacrifice one of them? We wouldn't need to waste any cultists. That's not a terrible idea, East. And after what Pickle's done to me, I'll enjoy every second of it. The hell does that mean? What? I don't think you're Damon speaking for me. What What has Pickle done to you? Oh, he won't remember. He's forgotten nearly everything. Oh, this is what I was talking about like episode one. We were just a kid, woke up in a lab and then ended up in a town. And we have no parents, no house. But but he tried to save your life. We came today to warn you about your sky cult. Fair point. It would be hypocritical to sacrifice you after talking about a utopia, wouldn't it? Pickle, in the spirit of fairness, I will give you a fighting chance. Your battle with East and the loser gets used for the ritual. But sir, why are you risking me? Why not use one of the grunts? Because East, you are a gym leader. I am sure you win. Pickle doesn't stand a chance. But East, are you questioning me? N no, sir. Sorry about this, Pickle. It's nothing personal, but the ogres orders were given. Okay, let's let's do it, East. Um, what the hell is he gonna lead with? Scarmory. Okay, well we've got raw. So that's fine, we can do that. Okay, Neuvern's out. Oh god, what do we go for now? Uh, I think I Thunderfang here? Possibly? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Oh, that's... It's got 95% accuracy! Okay, he's paralyzed, that's good. Um, we'll go to Rainy here. Oh god, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Uh, would, Gavin would probably be faster now, so I can go for a rock slide. He regained health, how did he regain health? What just happened there? What just happened? I don't understand what just happened. I missed something there. Now what the hell is he gonna go to? A Kingdra. Uh, we're gonna have to go to Blobby here, I think. Yeah. Cause I don't know what he's gonna go for, if we can scout him a little bit maybe. A focus energy, that's good. That's what we want. Get a crit. Oh, it always gets a crit anyway. And that'll get a crit too. And that'll kill me probably. Special attack harshly fell. Do we go for another frost breath? I think so. Apparently he's faster now. What the hell? What the hell? Why, why is he faster? Oh, we're not going to be faster with bash. We get a free spit in on with Infer. I think we have to go for that. Spikes. I, f I hate setup moves in these games. I honestly hate them. I think they're so stupid. Uh, uh, Dragon Pulse. Please, please kill. Special attack is down, so even if we don't go first, oh, we do go first and we kill. Oh my god. An Altaria. Um, we're going to Dragon Pulse, I think. Oh god, please be faster. Oh god. Oh, it doesn't affect- he's, What? He's part fairy? What? Oh my god. Shadow sneak. Oh my god. Ah! I didn't know he's part fairy. Oh god. Okay, that thing sets up. It's probably got a priority move too. Oh, poor blobs. Poor blobster. Okay, please, please just don't die. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I just went for another rock. You're dead. Another source dance. You're dead. Yeah, good. Yes! Oh my god, I can't believe I'm doing this. Poor Blobster. A Gliscor. Gliscor? Gliscor? I don't know what you call it. What the hell is left? A Skarmory? Uh... We're just going to flamethrower this thing till it dies. 
Okay, good. Yep, that's fine. You, you die now. You die now. No, you protected, you son of a... No, stop it. That's a 50% chance. Imagine you got another one. Haha, <laughs> you smell. Haha, <laughs> you smell. Okay, what the hell is left? This is it. Skarmory. Oh my god, we can win. No, don't s You're an idiot. Flamethrower. Yes! Oh my god, that was stress. Poor Blobster, but he did what he had to. Not really, he didn't do anything. Rainy gain, 1950 XP points. Oh my god. Pickle defeated leader. Oh, you get sacrificed. Please. <laughs> I lost. I don't believe it. I'm disappointed, East. I'd love to change my mind and save you, but I can't. I made a promise. And a strong ruler, a ruler keeps his promise. I'm sorry, and farewell. In my mind's eye, I see a region filled with love. It's a far-off, almost unachievable dream. Death on the way to the goal is a triviality. East's sacrifice was not in vain, especially now that I can use him to summon Red Quasar. You can follow me to the roof if you want. Try and stop me, I dare you. But be warned, I'm going, not going to spare you twice. So we've obviously fought the Ogre before, but this is back when we were, you know, forever ago, and we were a little, you know, we got knocked out there. Okay, we have to get rid of Blob, and we have to try and put another Pokemon on the team. I don't know what we're going to put on the team. Maybe someone that can learn, like, a Frost Breath, because this, we're going to, I think we're fighting a Red Quasar and his team, I think, but there's nothing really we can add. Okay, you know what? Let's get the Blobster out of here, and let's put Demix back on the team, even though he's not listening to us right now. Wait, will he listen to us now, because we just saw the gym leader? We can get the gym badge. Wait, what? Uh, we're fighting a Rayquaza, I think. Uh, I think we just rock blast the hell out of it. I think. And even if we don't kill, we can go into Infamous and we can Shadow Sneak and even possibly get off a, uh, a Z move Shadow Sneak so it's extra powerful. I don't know if it ups our attack or special attack, but, you know, we'll find out later. What is going on here? Oh, it's a beautiful crystal, isn't it? I don't know where it came from. It's been in the possession of the first Algo for as long as I can remember. Even after a year of research and experimentation, I'm still no closer to finding out. On the other hand, though, I've learned some very interesting things about what this crystal... Oh my god, crystal. Crystal is capable of. Any kind of magic-based action, such as a spell or a Pokemon attack, requires two things. A focus and energy. The energy is the power source from the attack for the attack or spell, and the focus is what directs it to do something. For example, a fire-type Pokemon may be able to blow blasts of fire at a foe. However, if they run out of PP power points, they can't. In this case, the focus would be the Pokemon using the move, and the PP is a measure of energy left. Makes sense? As near as I can tell, this crystal is a limitless source of energy. It contains the power of a thousand suns, maybe more. It's with the incredible power the first Olga was able to protect the region and defeat cold after cold. Everyone said his Pokemon were incredibly strong. It's because they had the energy to use. Well, incredible attacks. Now it's my turn to put this great gift to good use. I use the soul of my servant East to summon the mightiest of beasts. Come forth, Rayquaza, Herald of the Skies. You will be my focus. I will use your abilities to harness my limitless energy. This is cool. I'm scared though. At last, Rayquaza, finally we stand united. You and I together, the world can be ours. You will be my focus, you will harness my limitless energy, and under our leadership will we create a utopia. You said this before, I don't have to say it again. Talk too much in this game. There will be no crime or hatred, no war or revolution. He's talked about this before. Only a perfect peace of society, and I will be its king. You talked about that before too. And as for you, Pickle, I should have dealt with you in Town or Town while I had the chance. You are more of a threat to me than you have ever begun. You have even begun to realize I can't read. If I let you go, who knows what you might do? Who knows what kind of trouble you'd stir up? There's no room in my perfect world for any insurgent. Huh. He said the name. He said it. Who opposes me? If you stand in my way, I will squash you like a gnat. Prepare yourself, Rayquaza. Show him no mercy. You better get rock blasted in your mouth, boy. I hope you get hit with five of them. Look at him. He looks like an idiot. Okay. Okay. I can always explode on him too. 
Oh my god, he's got a mega. Oh, this is oh, this is over. We've lost. The foes requires it. Delta stream cause a mysterious air current that protects flying type Pokemon. He's using Dragon Dance. Oh my god, please live. Oh god! Oh, he's killing him with the Rocky Helmet. <laughs> yeah, Dwayne! Yes! I can't believe it. The power of the crystal failed me. Oh my god, I can't believe we won that. We almost died. <laughs> and it was so fast and powerful already, it would have killed all of our team. Actually, we had to shadow sneak because we might have been able to do something, but even then, Jesus Christ. You're annoying. You annoying brat. You were just lucky I won't make the same mistake twice. Requires a draw upon the power of the crystal to heal yourself. Bring yourself back to full strength and we'll resume the attack. Use Icy Wind now! Hey Pickle, I just dropped some ice around. Around here. Did you see where it landed? I'd say I was sorry, but I'm really not. It's a good thing because it was weak to ice, huh? That was one for your lies to the Tauran region, and this one is for trying to kill my friend. What? No, the crystal! You fool, do you realize what you've done? You broke it. A limitless source of energy now in pieces all over the region. You stupid, stupid child. Requires a quick. These pieces, those pieces need to be found before they fall into the wrong hands. Damien, Pickle, you have made a powerful enemy today. I will see to it that you both feel the sting of my wrath. I can't believe it. He was a traitor all along. I can believe it. I used to look up to him. He was my hero, but I guess that was all propaganda, huh? The worst part is that we can't tell anyone about this. Not Nobody would believe us. I know I wouldn't. You know what we need to do? We need to fight these cultists ourselves. And we said cults, but cultists works there too. Because the Alga Clay isn't doing it for us. We're strong. We have legendaries on our side after all. I think we could pull it off. Plus, there's these there's that prophecy Noro was talking about. He's always talking about it, even though he's not supposed to. I nearly forgot. I found these on the ground where you and East battled. I figured you should have them. They're they're yours after all. What the hell did you do? Oh, the summit badge, nice. Uh, oh, an aerial. Ooh, an East's will? What? I'll meet you in Utira Town. There's an old library there. Maybe we can learn more about the prophecy. Nora was heading there too. I'll see you later, Pickle. I got a man's will. What the hell is this? I think this is one of the shards of the crystal. I can feel the power emanating from it. This is about a third less hurry requires. We need to find the rest before they fall into the wrong hands. I wonder what this is. I'm sure Audrey, the leader of the Abyssal Cult, will reward me greatly if I show this to her. I see, if this is what I think it is, I'll make good use of this. Oh, it put us out. Oh, thank God it put us out of here too. Thank God. Let's go heal. Oh my god, reporter, we are live with an exclusive interview with the hiker recently rescued from the Rezaia Cavern. It's good to have you on. It's good to be on, ma'am. Can you describe this situation for our audience? Well, you see, my family and I were mining around in that cave. We heard there was some rare artifacts in there. And you found this funny old scroll. Turns out these sky cultists up top wanted it, and they threatened us. I'm sure that must have been scary for you and your family. Oh, it was, ma'am. But our very own Orga found us, told us everything would be okay. He lifted us out and helped my family and I. I couldn't ever repay him for anything like that. I just know the Orga is going to take down them Sky Cultists. What a fantastic man. Won't believe a word against him. No sorry. Thank you so much for joining us. This concludes our special broadcast. Uh, sorry about that. I'm so glad the Orga is here to protect us from people like the Sky Cult. We hope to see you again. Okay, let's have a look where we have to go. I'm not actually sure. Oh, you have to use your mouse. Do you? No, you don't have to. Uh, now... Where is Altara Town? Where is that? Utira Town. Oh, it's down to the left. So we have to go into the water to the left of this city? I think, right? Is that what it's saying? Well, how do you go How do you go left? <laughs> how do you go left? What a stupid quest. Oh, that way. Right there. Okay. Uh, I guess we go on the water? I guess it makes sense to... Do we get an encounter here? Oh, that... Oh, there's a cave. Oh, there's a guy here. What you want, dude? I get to get to Ateria Town. You need to pass through the Cave of Steam. It's not difficult to get through, but all the smoke makes it harder to see. Oh, he's a what the f what the hell? Oh, a, a scissor. 
Escizorra. Oh, Jesus. Please kill him. That didn't kill. Ugh! Ugh! That would have been awkward. Oh my god. I, I really thought that was going to do more damage. Which one is it that does more damage the more times you use it? I can't remember what that is. Illumise! 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 Doesn't matter, he's dead. Screw you. Okay, I figured that since we're going in a cave, we probably should use a water type, so we're going to leave with Gavi here. Um, what does this person over here want? Somebody told me that it's hard to see inside this cave, so I thought it'd be smart to m of me to use the rest of my savings on this DM, but it was useless. Please take it off my hands. I don't want to look at it anymore. Fl flash. Oh my God, we, we got a flashlight, right? So we can use a flashlight? Can we use the flashlight? Nope, can't use the flashlight. Damn it. You can get an encounter in here, though, I'm guessing. Uh, what is this? Hang on, what's this cave called? The Cave of Steam. Ooh, oh, there's a lava. Uh, can't use any... Oh, here we go. A Torko. I'm very happy with this. I don't know how we're going to, like, damage this thing. Um, um, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go for Shadow Sneak. I don't think he can really do too much to us. Life throw is fine. Shadow Sneak him. Yep, yeah, that's a critical, so that's fine. We'll just Shadow Sneak again. That's fine, and then we'll go for a Great Ball. I could throw a Dust Ball because we're in a cave. That might be work. That might, that might work. Never mind. Caught it. A female turtle. Uh, we're going to name it Francine. Francine. Okay, let's continue through the cave. Oh, never mind. We're going to get stopped again. Oh, I love these things. They're terrible, but I love them. Probably gonna die. Oh, he didn't. Oh, that's right. He's dragon and uh, what's he called? Dragon and rock, or just dragon? I think he's just pure dragon. Oh, that was <laughs> had to be surf on that little that itty bitty bit. Oh, what is in it? Oh, tentacle. Ah, he, he kibs it. What? Run away! Jesus. Okay. Oh, stop this. Oh, I like heat moss too. They're all pretty good Pokemon. Um, I'm just gonna quickly heal. Okay, let's continue here. Fight this guy. Oh, he's walking through my Pokemon. Excuse me. Have you ever gone cave spelunking before? There's so many cool caves in Torrin you can check out. Thank you, dude. Thank you for that update. What the hell's he got? Oh, Gigalith. I like these Pokemon. We got one of ourselves. Oh, why does everything miss? God, it's ridiculous. I was losing, like, missing Thunderfangers in the gym battle. Did I miss one? I think I did. I feel like I got mad when I when I missed one. Did I miss something else? Maybe it was a Muddy Water. I'm just going to heal again, because I don't want to keep running back and forth to the goddamn Pokemon Center. Okay, <laughs> run a lot of potions already. Can we? Oh, God. What is with these encounters in here, man? There's so many. I want to see if I can fish. Oh, I can't. I thought that'd be cool. Uh, Pokemon. I don't know what to use. Let's go with this. See if we can... See if we can sort of predict what this guy's going to have. This girl. How do you think being in a cave can affect battling style? Let's find out. Oh, what is she going to have? Dark types? She's got a Magnezone. Oh, it's Water and Psychic. God damn it. Yep. We're just going to do this. Discharge doesn't affect me. Good, good, good. I love having a, a ground type. Never mind. Oh my god. Okay, let's just do this. Oh. <laughs> what was that noise? Crunch him. Flinch. Just flinch. Please don't get a crit. Oh god, what was that? 80 to 50, that's 60 but damage, yeah. A steel type, a steel type. Uh, water and ground, that's fine, we can do that too, right? Yeah, that's fine. 
There was a reason we were rock type, that's why you messed us up so bad. Muddy water? Is that gonna do anything? I did did a fair bit. Did more than I thought. Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to go back to the Pokemon Center for that one. My fighting types are gonna clobber you! You need to relax, dude. You need to relax. Hit my hit my lead. Uh we'll slash up. Good. Thank god we led with this. And another Sashok should kill. Oh, didn't kill. A quick card. What are they doing? Yeah, he just wanted to lose. He doesn't like his Pokemon, he wanted to hurt him. I can't believe I lost. What, I, you didn't attack, dude. Okay, let's get going. I don't know where we... The rich kids always have really good Pokemon. And it always worries me. My family and I are sponsors of the library in Tarrant. It's because of our funding that they're able to get so many rare and expensive books. A Roserade. Oh god. Okay, a Roserade. I feel like he's going to poison me, or try to. Maybe a Grass move? Yeah, just, yeah okay, that's fine. If he does go for a Grass move... Quad, not effective, so that's very good. And a flamethrower kills. Lovely. Demix grid level 53. A man time. A man time. Flying and water. Um I think I've got a bash. An intimidate. Should drop it if it's got like a flying move. Okay, just raise its speed. We'll crunch again. Speed again, that's fine. Should kill. Yep. Good job. And that's it. Okay, they usually have better Pokemon than that. Never mind. Ugh, get away from me. Away! <laughs> right, okay. Sure, dude. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, ran into the wood. I hate this cave. The sting makes it so hard to breathe and my dress gets so dirty. Shut up. A Plusal. A Plusal. Terrible Pokemon. Absolutely god awful. And it's about to sweep me. <laughs> Just sets up the way. Come on. And the stats of a Rayquaza right there. What the hell? Oh my. <laughs> what is this? Yep. Yep. Okay. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That settles it. I'm leaving. You put a freaking mine on a plusle. Okay. This is the end of the cave? That'd be cool. We're in the next town already. What the hell? Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's so pretty. What the hell? We're already in the next town. <laughs> Alright, well, that's fine. Let's go find the Pokemon Center. <laughs> okay, we're going to end episode 11 there. Um, I will go through the town in the next episode and do the usual where I just sort of run through, find out what's going on, and then just update you real quick so you don't have to watch me do all that. So I'm going to do that. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you. I hope no one was really attached to Blobby. Um, sorry about that. Uh, but you know, the Rock is a is a Rayquaza killer, so that's something new. Wonder if he gets a World Heavyweight Championship for that. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment and a like if you want to be named after something. And uh, thank you for watching. Cheers. <laughs>